So hello again, if anybody is tuning in, um, it's Thursday, May 9th, 2024, and it turned out to be a really great day. We're liking it. Um, we're here with the um, Cultural Affairs and Tourism, the May meeting, and we have a lot going on here. Well, let's see here. First of all, the Kids Row Race started off with the bang. Now remember, 47 years, and this is the last and final season. Dave Gorman started at the age of 30, and now he's retiring at the age of 77. And uh, it's been phenomenal. And uh, Montelio's recognized him with the big cake one, and uh, City Council recognized both him and Judy, excuse me, recently. And oh, he was on WBZ, and a uh, huge article in the Enterprise. Meanwhile, um, while we're you know, saying all this on May 9th, uh, students are doing their dress rehearsal at Broughton High for the uh, the wedding singer. Yes, and um, this is always a Mother's Day special with uh, phenomenally talented, award-winning individuals and the drama club at Broughton High. Meanwhile, you won't be missing. You know, if, I hope you don't miss it. And uh, by the time you hear this, it uh, will already transpire. But Put on your calendars to be on the lookout for the dates for the concerts and the choral performance. And all this has to take place before the seniors walk down there with their uh, caps and gowns. This is prom season and graduation season, so everybody be careful. Uh, uh, on another note, um, let's remember now that it's milder, we're you know, wearing lighter clothing and what have you. Let's remember also, very, very important, uh, ticks. So, you know, be on the lookout because unfortunately they're out there. They've had a mild enough winter that they're in full swing, unfortunately. And if you have any concerns at all, you can, um, you know, how would I say it, contact the Plymouth County Extension. Um, and this is part of Plymouth County government. And it's all, you know, services are all free to uh, get more details on this. Okay. Brockton Garden Club plant sale is on Saturday, May 18th. We do a rain or shine. Now, I mean, if there's a hurricane, we're not doing it. I want to clear that up. But in the meanwhile, um, yes, we are there doing this plant sale um, from, let's see, 11, um, 8.30 in the morning to 11. And I've already seen some of the plants that are going up for sale. Very, very impressive. Oh, by the way, all of you that purchased geraniums, thank you. 500 geraniums sold. A uh, world record, yes. Right. Never before in the almost 95 years of the Broughton Garden Club. We're getting ready to celebrate that. Okay, also, because there's not enough for you to do on May 18th, uh, Saturday, May 18th, uh, Broughton uh, Cleanup Day. And uh, what, where does that start? Um, at 8 in the morning, I think they're going up to. Yeah. yeah. And um, you can also check on the city's website, BroughtonMA.us to check out um, any kind of details, but everything, um, generally people are going to Heights Crossing on Christie Drive and going to grab a donut and grab the tools and a t-shirt and what have you and get out there in their communities to clean up. Also in full swing now is t-ball and uh, softball and baseball. So uh, be on the lookout for a whole lot of activity. We do want to congratulate the uh, students Cardinal Spellman, Massasoit, Brockton High, and uh, oh, the you know, Champion School, New Heights. I mean, the list goes on because this, oh, I'm sorry, Southeastern Regional and Norfolk Agricultural. So, wow, not a whole lot. I also want to remind people, too, this is fun. On uh, Sunday, May 19th, from 11 to 3, Wildlands Trust is having their event outdoors at the Casiba at um, the D.W. Field Park, and they're calling it Give a Hoop. They're getting ready to celebrate 50 years of Wildlands Trust. Pretty impressive. And Give a Hoop, it's a great family day. You get to see the owls, which I'm very excited about. And uh, several other organizations will be there. Um, meanwhile, um, a Downtown Broughton Association meeting should be held uh, this Wednesday, May, I'm sorry, now I'm zoning out here, May 15th at 11.30 and you can go and check out the Downtown Brockton Association website. A lot of things going on in downtown you might want to hear about. Um, and let's see, a lot of groups are having their meetings 
and um, the Frederick Douglass Association, they're always looking for volunteers, etc. Um, I, I want to make sure I mention everything because there's so much going on. And, um, and we're always telling people to check out Broughton Community Access, whether to promote your, you know, your um, events, whether to have your own programming, volunteer, learn how to use the camera. I mean, just last week we, saw, uh, we were able to tape the Jubilate Choir Chorale and the Rose Conservatory, so you'd be able to see that on Broughton Community Access. The Jubilate actually uh, was so successful, they went and competed in Europe. So, you know, got a lot of amazing things that go on here. And I had to told you last month about the Broughton Symphonies event. Well, don't you think it was standing room only, three standing ovations for this phenomenal performance. It was incredible. So look forward to seeing them again in uh, this, the fall, I believe uh, the first week of October, something like that. They'll be out there. So again, this is all something to look at. But because you see this on Broughton Community Access or you come on Zoom, you can find out what's going on in this community. And uh, I'm just making sure, because like I said, there's such a list here. DBA, oh, oh, Broughton Garden Club is holding their last meeting of the season or the semester. I always look at everything like school. And um, that is on Monday, May 20th, people, May 20th. And it's free to the public, and it's going to be Garden Club um, Jeopardy. So anyway, brush up on your botany. Man, we were just, we just, last year was incredible. And um, what did, oh, and I want to make sure that uh, we remember it's Memorial Day and uh, their observations, and that's Monday, May 27th. The city has various events planned and community itself. You want to know about that? And I would be remiss if I didn't mention uh, the Mini Greek Festival, which is Friday the 17th, Saturday the 18th, and Sunday the 19th. So you'll have plenty to eat before you go to the cleanup or the, or the garden club sale or the um, who gives a hoot. Meanwhile, the Fuller Craft Museum is, continues to be free for Broughton residents and uh, they have another exhibit they just launched. Oh no, forgive me, they're launching on uh, Sunday, May 19th. So you can go from one to the other, cross the street, you know, go and see the animals and then cross over to Fuller Craft. Again, I keep on telling everybody, save the date for Juneteenth. Um, the celebration, Saturday, June 15th, where there's going to be activity at the Frederick Douglass Park and at um, the old fairgrounds. I mean, this is just all limitless. If you have something that you want to bring up, if you want to be a part of this group, give us a call, at, um, give myself a call at 774-297-4939. Again, that's 774-297-4939. And I'm going to pass this on to Pastor Reed because he has a couple things to talk about. Okay. All right. Well, May 18th has a lot of things going on. And, of course, the Brockton cleanup. If you just go on the website of the city, uh, brocktonma.us, you can get all the information. The people from the Frederick Douglass Association will be uh, participating in that. But they'll be going down around the garden area to clean that up. Because there's just you know, there's always work to do there, so they're they're excited about that. We met the other night, uh, and then we have we'll be soon announcing the event for July uh, for the reading of the um, Frederick Douglass's famous speech for the Fourth of July. Uh, also is uh, let's see what was it that was coming up. Oh, check on the library website for all kinds of different events that are happening there. Uh, they are having a full slate of things uh, throughout the summer at, uh, I believe, all three libraries. So you want to just check on their website and you'll be able to you know, participate in some of those things. I know I'm on the foundation, so I, I'm, I know the request will come very soon for the ice cream truck over the East Library. Uh, that seems to set records every year. And uh, we're looking forward to that again and several other things. So uh, help uh, beautify Brockton. We've done our work around here to, to make things uh, a little neater, pick up after people, and uh, 
especially with our planter in the front, so some of these geraniums that don't go to the mothers on Sunday, we'll get planted in our flower planter out front and will be there for everyone to enjoy. So again, we're thankful that we can do this and uh, there's, there's always something happening in Brockton. So if you want to find out what it is, happeninginbrockton.com, you'll be able to get a list of all the things that we know about. Uh, there are other things, but uh, the ones that we know about are publicized there well in advance so that you can enjoy Brockton this summer. Matter of fact, you can enjoy Brockton today because it was so nice. But all summer there'll be events going on and we'll let you know about them. So uh, I think that's all we have for tonight. Um, Next meeting, June oh, yep. 6th. Thursday, June, June 6th. June 6th. Yes. All right. Yeah. It, it's the first two weeks of June. No, June, why June 6th? Because it, it, it's always the second Thursday of the month. It's at that time I made a mistake. June 6th is not second Thursday. Two. It's not? Okay. Oh, hang then, on. Hang on one second. Oh, then, well, we got to correct this We, we need to make, here, make the calendar real quick. Uh, uh, go to month of June. June 13th. Oh, my goodness. June 13th is the next meeting. Uh-oh. It's like, I already know I got a meeting on the 6th. <laughs> it's like, and I, I do that every once in a while. They're back-to-back -back meetings. But uh, June 13th is our next gathering for cultural affairs and tourism. Hope to see you here. Hope to see you online. Uh, but take advantage of all the things happening in Brockton. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.